Thousands threaten to not watch the Olympics in global switch-off with hash boycott Olympics trending after Paris 2024 opening ceremony was slammed. Thousands of social media users have threatened to boycott the nascent Paris Olympics after its opening ceremony was widely panned on Friday. Enraged viewers took to X, where hash boycott Olympics and boycott Paris 2024 were seen trending over the course of the following day. In particular, the appearance of a naked blue man among a scene likened to The Last Supper angered many watching, especially Christians. One wrote, what a disgraceful opening to the 2024 Olympics, boycott Olympics. Another declared they didn't even care about the Olympics, but were now 100% boycotting. Thousands of social media users have threatened to boycott the nascent Paris Olympics after its opening ceremony was widely panned and hashed boycott Olympics trended on X. One baffling aspect was the involvement of a naked blue man. His appearance among a scene likened to The Last Supper angered many watching, especially Christians. One viewer wrote, What a disgraceful opening to the 2024 Olympics boycott Olympics. Scores of ex-users added to the pylon, commenting, The opening ceremony was a disgrace and a slap in the face to all Christians boycott Olympics. Are you serious? This is blasphemous and God will not be mocked. Boycott Olympics. Why on earth would anyone push so much to offend as many Christians as possible? It's insane that this kind of show even passed proposal stage. Boycott Olympics. Respect Jesus Christ and reject any mockery of Jesus' Last Supper. Retweet if you stand with Boycott Olympics. The spectacle was despicable, offensive, and extremely vile. Stash Boycott Olympics. Tash Boycott Paris 2024. Will this be the first Olympics that never was? Who will be the first country brave enough to boycott? Fingers crossed, hashtag boycott Olympics. Scores of ex-users added to the pylon with one commenting, the opening ceremony was a disgrace and a slap in the face to all Christians, boycott Olympics. Many were also upset by the subsequent performance by French heavy metal band Gojira, scene, who played Ah Cha Ira, a popular song during the French Revolution. The band were joined by opera singer Marina Viotti, as well as a plethora of beheaded figures representing the slain Queen Marie Antoinette, pictured. The Olympic flag was raised upside down in a more obvious failure. Though many took issue with the segment of the ceremony for its perceived mockery of the Last Supper, the Olympic Games' official X account suggested otherwise, labeling the naked blue man an interpretation of the Greek god Dionysus. Dionysus is the Greek god of fertility and has no relevance to the Last Supper. French actor and singer Philippe Catherine fulfilled the controversial role and went on to dismiss the critics, telling BFM TV, It wouldn't be fun if there were no controversy. Wouldn't it be boring if everyone agreed on this planet? Nevertheless, the Catholic Church in France criticized the segment, with the Conference of French Bishops releasing a statement which said, this ceremony has unfortunately included scenes of derision and mockery of Christianity, which we very deeply deplore. Many were also upset by the subsequent performance by French heavy metal band Gojira, who played Ah Ta Ira, a popular song during the French Revolution. The band were joined by opera singer Marina Viotti, as well as a plethora of beheaded figures representing the slain Queen Marie Antoinette. But the ferocious and fiery aesthetics has angered Christians online, who are arguing that letting the band perform at the opening ceremony is encouraging Satanism. Even the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate raged that the opening ceremony was satanic and accused the West of worshipping the devil. Satanists control the West and they show you that they worship the devil. It's not a conspiracy theory. They literally show you. Are you blind? He said. Tesla and SpaceX owner Elon Musk also chimed in to say the scenes were extremely disrespectful to Christians, adding, Christianity has become toothless. The ceremony was also blighted by pouring rain, with viewers complaining of poor audio, technical issues, and watching thousands of athletes burying themselves under ponchos as they paraded down the River Seine on a series of boats. One of the more significant failures saw South Korea wrongly announced as North Korea before the Olympic flag was raised upside down. But a defiant Emmanuel Macron went on to tell organizers, bravo, you made France shine. The opening ceremony ended, however, in an undeniable blaze of glory with a spectacular light show around the Eiffel Tower. 
As President Macron addressed organizers after the ceremony, which he attended with his wife, Brigitte, he appeared to ignore the criticism of the unique ceremony, which took place completely outside in a journey up the Seine. He told those gathered, Bravo to all the artists, organizers, police, administrators, ministers, volunteers. From the Minister for the Interior to all of the performers, a huge well done and be very proud. You have made France shine. Bravo. His words were greeted with cheers and applause after a tough night for many of the thousands of artists, dancers, and singers involved in the four-hour procession. The opening ceremony ended in an undeniable blaze of glory with a performance by Canadian singer Celine Dion from a spectacularly lit Eiffel Tower.